So to get this started, we're going to grab our Category 4 yarn, make a slip knot, grab our 5mm hook, and we're going to make a chain that goes from one tip of your shoulder to the next, and as a reference, mine is about 15 and a half inches. Once when you have that chain, you're going to block off that last chain, chain up one extra, go ahead and put one single crochet into that second loop from the hook, or the chain that we blocked off, and we're going to put more single crochet all the way down our chain, just putting one into every loop. And once we single crocheted all the way down, now we're going to start working on our rows of net. So how we do that is we're going to chain up six. The first three count as a double crochet. We're going to flip our work, prepare for a double crochet. We're going to count out four loops, one, two, three, four. Insert our hook into that fourth loop with a double crochet. And this is our first net. We're going to do this again, so just as a reminder, we're going to chain up three. Prepare for a double crochet, count out four loops, one, two, three, four, and double crochet once into that fourth loop. And then we're going to keep doing this pattern all the way down. So this is what we have once we're done with our first row of net, and this is the first of many rows. I'm just going to show you guys how to start up the next row and every other row after this. So we're going to chain up six again. First three count as a double crochet. This is just like before. We're going to flip our work. Prepare for a double crochet, and then we're going to double crochet into the double crochet loop that we have over the last double crochet. So all of these double crochets will be aligned just like that. Do this one more time. Chain out three, prepare for a double crochet, go into the last double crochet loop with a double crochet. And then I'm going to keep doing this until I get down to my chest, and that is roughly six and a half inches in length. And I'm going to keep doing that, and I'll show you how to increase if you need to do that. If you don't need to do that, then you can keep going until you get to your waist or your hips. But I'll show you how to increase and decrease if you need. So I have six and a half inches done, and this is where my bust is. But obviously yours can be lower, shorter. I'm just giving you a really quick reference. But I'm going to show you guys how to increase and decrease. Say if you have a bust and you needed to, you know, work around what you got. We'll show you how to do that and then show you how to taper it in as well. And then a really quick tip, if it doesn't seem like it's going to fit around you, keep in mind we are going to have a border on both pieces that we make because we're making two separate pieces that are exactly the same. So with all of that being said, we're going to show you how to do an increase if you have to. If not, then you can just skip this entire part. But to do an increase, we're going to chain up another six. The first three count as a double crochet like usual. And then from here to do an increase, we're going to be increasing on both ends. We're going to prepare for a double crochet and we're actually going to be double crocheting into the same loop that we're currently in. And then once we have that, you can see that it's starting to expand out a little bit and it's going to expand to help, you know, cover up what you got. But from here, we're going to continue doing the regular rows of net that we've been doing. So I'm going to continue doing this until we get to the end. Once we get to the end, I'm going to show you how to do the increase for this row as well. So we've made it all the way to the end, and this is still our increase row. So I'm going to show you how to increase on this end. And it's going to be the same thing as the first one. We're going to chain out three, prepare for a double crochet, double crochet into the same loop that we are in. And then just to show you guys, this is what our increased rows look like. If you need to increase more, then go ahead and keep doing the same thing into the corners. And we're just going to assume that you are done increasing at this point. And I'm going to show you guys how to decrease so that it can taper in. And this can be whether if you need it under your bust, once when you get to the waist, when you get to the hips, when you get to your thighs, this is whatever. This is completely up to you and 100% customizable to your body. But I'll just show you how to decrease from here. So to get this started, we're going to chain up three. This counts as a double crochet. Flip our work. So instead of doing the typical chain six in total and then double crocheting into the first loop, we're actually going to skip that chain six and only chain up three because this counts as a double crochet and we're going to have it tapered in kind of like a weird pizza triangle shape. But from here, we're just going to prepare for a double crochet and then double crochet into the next double crochet loop that we have. And then as you can see, this is tapering back in. And then from here, we can chain up three, prepare for a double crochet, and then do a regular row of net all the way until we get to the end. So the second to last loop, and then I'll show you how to decrease on this side as well. So I just did our one row of net all the way down. And remember, we are decreasing into this row. 
So I'm going to show you guys how to decrease. So all we're going to do is prepare for a double crochet. We aren't going to do the chain three in between like we've been doing. We're just going to prepare for a double crochet automatically. Count out three loops. One, two, three. Insert our hook into that third loop with a double crochet. And then as you can see, this has tapered in a little bit. Same thing on the other side. So all we're going to do is chain up three to start up the next row. Flip our work. And just as an example, if you're going to do another row of decrease, then you're going to skip this first double crochet, prepare for a double crochet, and then we're going to double crochet into the next double crochet that we have that goes over the next big gap. And this is decreasing. And then from here, you guys can go and do whatever you guys want, decreasing and increasing wherever is necessary. I'm actually going to take these rows apart because I'm shaped like a refrigerator. So I'm going to keep going down until I get to my mid thigh. So I have done my rows of net all the way from the top, all the way down to the bottom. I have about 25 inches. And for me, that reaches maybe mid thigh ish. And then from there, we're going to do some rows of shells on the bottom just to give it a little bit more detail. But just to show you guys what I have, this is where we started with our row of single crochet. And for me, I just went straight all the way down until I did one increase for the hips. And then now we're gonna start working on our shells. So we're going to turn our work just a little bit just so we can see it better. And then from here, this is gonna be a you thing. You guys can figure out where you want your shells to start. It can start closer to the middle or on the outer edges. My shells are gonna start about three inches in. So we're going to do our rows of net until we get three inches in. Okay, so this next loop is where I want my shells to start. As you can see, for me, I've chosen to do three net. And then from here to start our shell, we're going to chain one, prepare for a double crochet, and we're gonna double crochet into the loop that's above the double crochet in the last row. And we're gonna be putting two double crochet into that same loop. Chain two. Prepare for a double crochet and put two more double crochet into the same loop that we're in, forming our shells. And once we have that, we're going to chain one, prepare for a double crochet, and then double crochet into the next double crochet loop that we have from the previous row. And this is our first shell. And then we're going to do net until we make it all the way down until we get to the same loop, but on the other side. And I'll show you guys how to do it one more time. So I've done our row of net in between the shells and we are at the second loop where we're going to do the second shell in this row. So just as a refresher, we're going to chain up one, prepare for a double crochet. We're gonna put two double crochet into that double crochet loop from the last row. Once we get here, chain two and put two double crochet into the same loop. And this forms our shell. And from here, chain up one Prepare for a double crochet and double crochet into the next double crochet loop from the last row like normal. And then go ahead and finish this off. I'm going to show you guys how to do it one more time once we get to the next row. So we are starting on our second row of shells. As you can see, I already did my chain up six that we always do. And then I went until I met the shell and I'm just going to show you guys how to do that one more time. So really quickly, we're going to chain up one prepare for a double crochet and all we're going to do is put our shell in the middle of the shell in the previous row. So we're going to put two double crochet into the middle of the shell, chain two, two double crochet back into the middle of that shell, chain one, prepare for a double crochet and double crochet into that next double crochet that we have. And this is what our second row of shells looks like. And then from here, we're gonna continue working with this row of shells until we get to the bottom of the skirt. You guys can make this a short skirt, a midi dress, a maxi dress, whatever you guys want. But I'm gonna keep going until I have a total. So from where we did the first single crochet row all the way to the bottom, I'm gonna keep going until I have about 33 and a half inches. And then once when you get there, don't cut and tie because we got some side paneling to do. So I just got done doing the entire length of my dress and it is about 33 and a half inches. And the last thing that we have to do is do a little uh, side border and it's going to be more rows of net, but we're just gonna be working on the side of our piece that we have. So we're just gonna be doing net until we get to the armholes and how we determine the armholes. You can put this up to yourself or you can uh, wing it, I guess. 
but what I like to do is measure from the first row of single crochet and I like to measure down eight inches and then I'll put in my marker and then I will do a row of border up until where my marker is. But this is obviously customizable. You guys can bring it up higher or it can be one where your entire side is open, whatever you guys want to do. So now that I have my armhole marked off, now we're going to start doing the side panel. And the side panel is going to be pretty similar to the regular net that we've been doing. So for the first one, we're going to be chaining up five. The first three count as a double crochet. Then from here, we're going to prepare for a double crochet. And then we're going to go into this side chain that we have in between all of these side double crochets that we have. So we're just going to insert our hook into there with a double crochet. And this is going to be our side panel. And one more time, we're going to chain two instead of the chain three that we've been doing for the entirety of the dress. Chain two, prepare for a double crochet. Go into that uh, loop, I guess. <laughs> Go into this loop where our chain threes are on the main portion of the dress. And we're going to keep doing this all the way down until we get to where we put the marker in for our armholes. Once we get there, we're going to cut and tie and then do the same thing on the other side. And one super quick tip, if this one row of net doesn't reach to your side, you can obviously add more rows just to make sure that it fits. So once we're done with our side panels, this is what our work should be looking like. We just got these two little guys hanging off the side. And then we have our pattern all the way down here. Once we do have all this, don't hate me, but we're going to have to do this all one more time, exactly the same way we did the first one. So as you can see, I have both my front and my back piece done. They're exactly the same, so they're not specifically front and back or front and back. They're the same. But from here, we're just going to need to connect it. So I'll show you how to connect it on this side. We're going to insert our hook into this bottom corner. Grab our yarn, make a slip knot. And from here, we're going to pull through chain up one to secure and we do have all of these loops to go into if you want to you can make sure that you go in through one loop on one dress and the same loop but on the other dress but you could do a little cheat that i like to do which is just do a single crochet into the big gap that we have and that basically does the same thing you just got to make sure that you put two single crochets in there because we have two chains in each of these gaps so as you can see i already have one done we're just going to insert our hook in through the big gap and pull through we're just going to make sure that our hook goes in through both sides of the dress the front and the back and we're going to do this all the way until we get to the underarm portion and then we're going to cut and tie and we're going to do the same thing on the other side so once we're done connecting both of our sides as you can see this is the seam of our single crochet that we did we're not going to flip it over just yet because we do have to connect the neck portion and how we do that is we're going to insert our hook in through one of the corners in this first single crochet row that we did and then making sure that the hook goes in through the same loop on the other side so front and back we're going to take our same yarn insert that onto our hook and pull through both loops and then from here we're going to do a row of single crochet just like how we did the side and we're only going to be going in until we reach two inches so just to show you guys we're going to make sure that our hook goes in through one side and then make sure that our hook goes in through the other side and then we can single crochet and then, like i said we're going to be doing that until we reach two inches in and we're going to be doing that on both sides once we have that go ahead and cut and tie and then weave in all of your ends once we've woven in all the ends this is our crochet beach dress this was yet another request that i got on instagram and that's tcd diy bt dubs and the original dress was gorgeous, but I knew that we can make it our own, and this is what we got. I'm super excited to see you guys make this and style it. It can be worn over bikinis, or just like I'm wearing, or really anything in between. But if you guys like this piece or any other piece on the channel, give it a thumbs up. It's right beneath the video. It lets YouTube and I know you're enjoying the videos, and it goes a long way to helping the channel grow and gain traction. But if you don't like it... You can go ahead and give this video a thumbs down, but leave a comment letting me know why you didn't like it, or if you have any questions or requests, or if you just want to say what's up. If you love it, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. It'll let you know when new videos are uploaded to the channel, get you a bit more priority for requests, and it goes a long way to helping the channel grow so we can keep making great videos together. Links to the yarn and hooks will be in the description if you guys buy something that also goes to helping out the channel as well. 
Lastly, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest are all in the description as well. And thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see y'all in the next one.